Hi, it's Hans at happierman.com. Today's topic is make your life the movie. What I mean is, instead of spending a lot of your spare time watching movies, watching TV shows, watching news programs, watching sporting events, make, look, uh, stop you doing that, stop looking at other people's lives and what other people have created and create your own movie. So the way this is going to take some considerable effort on, on your part because most of us are kind of trained and programmed to, 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 to watch a lot of TV to look at the screen, to listen to other people's creation and to see them, right? We, uh, some people get up in the morning and, and turn the TV on right away and, and it's on all day long. Some people, as soon as they get home from work, you turn the TV on and it's on all night long and you're kind of there in front of the TV absorbing all kinds of, you know, many, many hours of, of all of this various sorts of entertainment and, and, and information. And I'm suggesting that you stop all that. You, you focus on your life now. The bulk of your time is on your life now. What are you doing now? Going to work, taking care of my responsibilities, having a little bit of fun, getting organized, making sure everything is going smoothly. You're doing all of that now to make sure your life isn't unraveling. And then the time you would spend relaxing in front of the TV, you spend making plans for an even better future now. What are you gonna do next week, next month, tomorrow, a year from now, two, five, 10, all the way up. And then in, in addition to the looking forward at what you're gonna do to make the future you your future now even better, you, you look back, you reminisce on the, the past, your, your past events, and that's kind of your entertainment, is thinking about your past events, all the good things, and you're kind of enjoying it like you're watching your, your, a movie, but it's a movie of what you did, okay, and it's you want to have that reflections and of course you want to stack up lots and lots of entertaining episodes in your life adventures interest good things that you can happily reminisce on by yourself think of how much fun it is to reminisce talk about events that you share with other people the reminiscing you're talking about it turn that inward you're reminiscing with yourself and if you do this right, you and yourself are like having this great conversation about your past events. And you're reflecting on how great some of those things were. And you're also, in addition to how great the past was, the past issues, problems, frustrations, annoyances, mistakes, missteps, assumptions that you made that turned out to be wrong, that caused you enormous problems, you, you reflect on them, you try to figure out, well, why did you, uh, why did that happen that way? How might you sidestep this, not doing that in the future? What you might, what you might have done in the past in, a little bit differently. Not in the beating yourself up manner, though. Don't ever do that. That is, that's totally wrong. You know, you, the, 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 the negatives, the negative episodes might not even been your fault, right? Sometimes the circumstances are such that this really isn't you, your fault. It's just how it happened. You, you know, like a, as a child, what are you going to, how are you expected to uh, know what moves to make? So you, you got to give yourself plenty of, of slack for these, for these past problems. 
but you can reflect on them, I guess, objectively, like you're analyzing it and looking back at like a history book, only the history is your own life, and you're saying, oh yeah, I guess I see why I did that, I see why that person probably acted that way, I wish they wouldn't have done that, but I can see why they, they did that, and by doing this, this becomes more and more fascinating, your own life becomes more and more fascinating to yourself, and you can spend just enormous amounts of time just doing that, right? You, you don't even have to turn the TV on anymore because you can just sit there enjoying thinking about your own life, the past, what you're doing now, what you're planning in the future, how to make use of the things you learned in the past to make your future better, right? How to look back at your past, not in so much anger, but with so, oh, yeah, maybe I needed to go through that in order to get to where I'm at now, right? And I'm not saying to give up TV and entertainment totally. That's, you know, that kind of a rigid thought. I think that's, that's too much. I, I just say to pick and choose your, your content that you absorb from someone else carefully. Um, I like to watch my favorite team is the my favorite sport is the pro football in the US and my favorite team is the Green Bay Packers and you know I, I, I live here in the in the state where the Packers are so we, I follow them and all my friends follow them and we have a great time texting about the game and you know we're always trying to outdo each other with our football analysis and our funny one-liners and it's been a great thing actually it's it's like we're all sitting together in the living room watching the game and having a great time but we're you know hundreds of miles apart right and so it's this shared experience all right and I have some new friends in the town I'm at and sometimes they host a Packer party get together and that's really really cool and sometimes I just enjoy the other games just to relax, get some downtime, you know, and that's what the, I think, I think that's the beauty of the TV and the sports and the movies is they give you some downtime, and sometimes you're going to be tired, sometimes you're going to be exhausted, sometimes you've thought about your life enough and you want to give it a break, but, um, yeah, I would, uh, I would give that idea some serious thought. I've, I just enjoy the heck out of thinking about my own life and reflecting on, you know, some of the stuff that I've done in the past. It's pretty wild. It's pretty great. It's, to me, it's pretty spectacular. Uh, it may not be spectacular to you, but to me, man, I thought, how did I, uh, sometimes I look back and say, hmm, I, did I really do that? Was that really me? And, uh, you know, that seems like something that's pretty grand. I'm very, very, very pleased to have done that. <clears throat> and then thinking about the future from that, wow, I had a great past, and I got through some enormous, enormous difficulties. Everything is great now. I'm expecting that my future is going to be even more, even better, right? And I'm making plans, so I'm constantly projecting into the future, making plans, making things sure things are going smooth all the time, making sure I'm increasing the things that I want to increase and decreasing the things I want to decrease, right? So give that idea some thought all for now. <laughs>